silica has uh, no doubt some uh, advantage uh, if we compare um, carbon black but carbon black has also its position uh, no doubt it's a challenge if there is a replacement but at the same time uh, carbon black is also uh, trying to compensate the properties what silica is offering and how even carbon black can also uh, uh, compete with that kind that kind of properties so challenge is there as well as we are always trying to uh, compensate the performance, what silica can give additionally, how we can even uh, put the same thing into, the, in, into carbon black. So this, this is a way, yeah. One, one property of, uh, of tire uh, is primarily the rolling resistance, okay. Uh, silica is comparatively, uh, uh, can give much better performance uh, with respect to uh, even carbon black under normal condition. Um, that rolling resistance property. Uh, now, uh, this is one advantage silica is giving, but at the same time, silica has some uh, challenge of, uh, of abrasion property. Uh, silica has some uh, challenge uh, during the uh, processing of silica with the, with the, with the rubber material. Uh, so, and there is a very uh, um, a common effort uh, for everyone, even through the different carbon black manufacturer also, uh, how in, we, we can even uh, improve the performance of the carbon black in, in the light of rolling resistance and get a combined performance because that abrasion is poor for silica, how even we can improve the, uh, improve the um, uh, properties of carbon black such that it can give a combined improvement of uh, abrasion and as well as rolling resistance property. So this is the approach or optimizations of properties. First thing is that uh, uh, this um, carbon black, the raw material source from where it is made, uh, there is a, um, a, a huge use of different fossil uh, based, fossil fuel based material. So how we can, uh, we can slowly or even at least uh, uh, make some use of some natural other, other sources, uh, that is one of the, one of the approach it could be. Uh, second part uh, is that, uh, see during the rubber uh, carbon black manufacturing, there are a lot of gases and others are, are produced, uh, which uh, should not go out of the, of the reactor or the plant. And in, in general, the gases what are used, what are coming out, these are all used for uh, different kind of uh, 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 power uh, generation. And uh, in, in, in post uh, preparation, in, in, in the entire uh, value chain of the applications of carbon black, in the next phase where it is used, uh, practically recycle, reuse, uh, these are the uh, very uh, um, uh, common approach. Uh, what even we can, not we can, in fact, there are a lot of regulations are coming, not only regulations, uh, at the same time, this is an effort how we can reuse and recycle the carbon black material which are already in use in the existing system. These are the ways uh, we are thinking of sustainability. And in other way, carbon black can be, can be tailored, uh, made in such a way such that it can reduce the rolling resistance of a tire, which in fact will help to uh, uh, reduce the fuel consumption, fuel consumption of a car. And it can be, it can be done even possible by 2%. And if it is 2% for uh, 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 lowering of fuel, fuel consumption, uh, overall it will be very high. So in fact, in that sense, uh, indirectly, uh, we can develop some carbon black, uh, which can give the sustainability overall with respect to the uh, uh, energy carbon dioxide emission and in, in that way. So this is the different approaches we can think of regenerated carbon, recovered carbon, reclaiming and all, all are within this system. Carbon black can, can see uh, uh, for, for a different kind of tire, uh, say for car which is uh, used for uh, transportation, at the same time the truck and bus tire or in the form of uh, agricultural tire which is called OTR tire. So each tire has some different requirement uh, when, when we are looking for different properties. Right. Similarly, the EV tire has some specific requirement. One requirement is that it should have some much better load bearing capacity. Right. 
at the same time it should have that same thing it should have some lower values of rolling resistance it should have some better property of abrasion resistance then in comparison to the normal tire what are in use in pcr truck and bus tire agricultural tire so in that particular new mobility system a new sets of property may be required where a part of those property will be fulfilled by the rubber system itself and a part by the carbon black and we are always trying to develop different kind of um, carbon black to to satisfy that kind of requirement so uh, no doubt there's a new sets of requirement is there and the carbon black company should uh, target in, in in those kind of properties uh, pcbl uh, uh, is looking for uh, practically new product development new product development in various fields wherever carbon black is going uh, carbon black has a major consumption in the tire industry and as you mentioned there is a old mobility i would say old in the old old uh, car transportation new mobility so new requirement so how we can even satisfy or fulfill the requirement in the coming days that's a new uh, product development the r&d is developing that kind of new carbon black grades new carbon black products uh, similarly uh, carbon black is not only for the tire industry for the other rubber industries also where a hose application uh, extrusion application or uh, uh, under the sea application the different kind of rubber parts what are going uh, it also uh, is a dynamic area where a continuous uh, improvement of requirement for the uh, final products is, is very important and various kinds of carbon black various kind of properties of carbon black is important and we are try try always try to do uh do some uh, uh inputs there with some new grade at the same time uh pcbl is working for the ink application uh, plastics master batch applications all those needs different kind of carbon black where we are trying to develop new carbon black grades that's the uh, uh overall uh, uh different areas where new product development is 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 working and rnd is working uh, it's it's a big family rnd is not only working as a as a single entity they are very closely working with the manufacturing team process technology team marketing team and all together all together we are uh, build up this uh, this new product development approach